Soto with the bodybuilder's physique. 27 pounds heavier, almost four inches taller. Huge reach advantage, and here we go, round one. i tell you what, if I was built like Craig Bruno, I wouldn't be afraid of anybody or anything, but Mike Tyson is a phenom. Un abnormal strength, unnatural. He is a walking powerhouse. Tyson's trainer, Jay Bright, said he's concerned about keeping Tyson under control of the belt. He'll be very anxious. And he's coming in pretty straight up and flying through the air, which if you get hit midway there, that could be big. Bruno continues to hold and hit. Quit grabbing, says Mills Lane. Tyson's people wanted to bob and roll, be less of a target attack from the angles, and he is on the attack. That right hand buckled the legs of Frank Bruno. That's the first one he felt the steam. The Tyson's camp feeling the key is hand and foot speed. The Tyson is just too fast and quick on his feet, and that Bruno doesn't have the foot speed to compete. Bruno trying a nice uppercut, which was a nice idea, but it got smothered. It didn't get there anywhere. Bruno threw a nice right hand around the side of Tyson's ear, and then a left hook to the body. Didn't seem to do anything, but it was a nice effort. And any time, oh, here comes Tyson. Tyson with a combination with 20 seconds left in round one. He got Bruno's attention, wobbled Bruno with that punch. And this is what I mean, if he makes a mistake early, you can't fix a chin that was never great to begin with. A left hook by Tyson, but Bruno comes forward. Seven seconds to go in the round. Bruno in bad trouble there. All he needed was one more good shot. He'd have been gone. Here you see where Tyson wobbles him with a big right hand right on the button. Now you wonder if that was the cut or one of those charges in because there was a lot of holding, possible hits, banging, clanging. The cut's nasty. Well, yeah. it's a nasty cut, and uh, rest assured, Tyson's not going to let that alone. Just hold and do that for 12 rounds. There's no honor in it. Well, he's not going to be here for 12 rounds, I guarantee you. Oh, a left hook by Mike Tyson, flush on the face of Frank Bono. Another left, and a combination by Tyson. And Bruno holds on. Uh, he's got a difficult task in front of him, and a lot of people are going to say this fight doesn't prove anything anyway. And this is what Bruno expected. He said he's not looking for the Tyson of Fort McGillian Mathis. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Tyson laying it on, pouring it on. Down goes Bruno into the ropes. And it is all over. It is all over here in round three. Mike Tyson. Now let's take a look at how Tyson took care of business. Ducked under. A shot under the arm in the legs. And from here on out, a rain of punches which buckled Frank Bruno until he was helpless. If you let Mike Tyson get that kind of leverage with that right uppercut, you will not make it through the round, never mind the fight. He is a finisher par excellence, and he finished tonight, and Frank Bruno had no chance.